Hot Sauce Guitar Kitchen, episode. Hot Sauce Guitar Kitchen, episode one, zero, three. Arc Neck Prepper. A few keys of crafting a well-tuned cigar boss guitar is to first and foremost get you some Cowboy Kent Rollins Red River Ranch seasoning, the mesquite kind. Why? Uh, because it's Cowboy Kent Rollins. <laughs> okay. Go ahead and put him on your cigar boss guitar. Mix your cast iron. Here at the Hot Sauce Guitar Kitchen, we like to smoke our necks. Once they're finished, we like to get a nice hardwood lump fired up. Pull them right on out of the fire. Blow it off. That's the patented smoking technique. I'm just kidding, I didn't put it in the fire. Then get your neck ready, okay? Go on, get you a little unsweetened, unsalted butter, and then get you some seasoned collard greens. Just put a little seasoned collard greens on your neck. Get some barbecue gain ready. A few things about this neck right here, finished today. This is a technique I've been using lately, right here. Junk pile guitars, go watch his video. 15 degree angle on his little chop saw jig. Love that dude. All right, I like a couple of things. I like to stagger my woods, trying to keep it quasi hobo, you know, just using what you got. So I personally like it, the coat, this came from the cutting board kit. This just came from big box stores. You know they are. We know what they're called. There's only two of them. Or maybe three if you count Menards. Then this is uh, so the layer technique. So this is a layer of red oak I got from one of those stores also. This top part is Chechen that I get marked down from Woodcrafter when I go in there and visit. And I like the layer technique. Hopefully, everyone's straight, which will be happy, make me happy. And then cutting this guy right here the same angle as this, and then just putting him on here. The way I measure this right here is simple, my hand. So, and this goes up against the box. This one, because it's a, it's a revelation box, and I've done this in a couple of them where I I staggered the fretboard forward a little bit. I just think it looks cool having, especially if, if you're using different layers of woods, having this go like, you know, stepping it down. And then here before I glued it on here is I, I took a file for the Shinto rasp and kind of just rounded it off. Same right here, rounded it off so when it meets the box, it just gives it like a nice, I don't know, fancy look, clean look. You don't have to, of course, do your thing. Once this dries overnight, I will come at it with the Shinto Rasp. That is, of course, after it dries and some hardwood lump. ahead and take your Cowboy Kent Rollins Red River Ranch seasoning, douse it liberally on your chicken or on your chicken neck. Count to like say, stick it in the fire, a couple of 30 seconds, get it real good and barbecued up, get it, pull them out. Ooh, hot, 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 hot. There it is. Ah. Can't get enough of that wonderful royal oak. 
hot sauce guitar kitchen neck fabrication step one completed then break it off with a little bit of cornbread I drilled holes in this box right here these are going to be attached inside the box so I'm not sure what that bits called that where you drill a hole and then it countersinks it but there and there and then I have the one back here pre so this one goes into the box got the box all prepped up as far as the internal bracing, I have the dual blade humbucking pickup strategically mounted to accentuate the cool artwork of this box right there. I also put a few pieces of tape on between the box here in here and wrapped it around so the where I cut this part out of the paper it won't peel back so this is ready to go I'm gonna strategically place the piezo beneath here beneath here however I want to I don't want to lock the piezo in place right now I want this more attached to the box not to here because I want this neck to be able to come in and out the box I'm gonna I'm gonna prep this today this is the arc that's been prepped have you prepped your arc <laughs> have you given it some structural strength now I want to do this today but in this transition period again I have this right here ready to go and this right here this is cool this that just worked out check out the or the screws right here are how this neck is kind of goes right beneath there my just beneath there sweet then the final bolt will go final screw will go in here see so right here and then it'll just go through so what I'm doing right here is in this transition transitionary period is I made between the box and here this is where I want the piezo to, to sit like that but I want to make sure that the box will fit on here beneath that see the shadow right there that shadow tells me that this guy right now because remember this this neck right here has a back angle to it so you're dealing with That'll be important later, but so you're dealing with just making sure right now, regardless of how you attach your piezo, that's making direct contact to the top of the box. So to make sure that 
I can put you can put your ruler right here and then just give it a little shim shim it up a Roy mate. Now, there's easier ways to do this everyone's got a thousand different ways to do this this is the way I'm doing this for a couple different engineering reasons and that is one of those is to be able to what is that term back engineer if I need to so when the time comes when this neck is completed I'll be I'll just be able to install this guy right here like that he's going to fit right beneath here on here this cables in the way right here but when the time comes it'll sit on here like this boom flat what is that light so this would be nice and flat right here and then inside the box, beneath the bridge, there will be structure right here to hold the bridge down. So this is a cardboard top. So just where the bridge is, I just want to make sure there's some structure beneath it. But I want to keep this box as hollow as possible. I know it looks a little bulky and it's just got big chunks in here. And that's, I try to round these edges off per the advice of Bill Foley to try to get rid of a lot of these hard corners but you know we're cigar we're cigar box in here but that's basically what I'm trying to do is basically have structure here and also have the piezo disc right directly beneath the bridge but also be able to adjust this if I need to you know and a quick word about this piezo one of the keys of choosing a good pickup for your cigar box guitars is choosing the right cornbread. So here with the piezo disc, I incorporated two techniques. One of Del Puckett's techniques is the way he will take the Forstner bit and drill down into a piece of wood. So you have a nice round, a nice round, circle to embed your piezo in beneath where you want it to do he doesn't directly into his necks using his technique so what i did was i took the forstner bit carved it out drilled it down and then i took the piezo disc this one got a pack of these oh wow mike and basically drilled this down, put this here, took the hot glue gun right here, glued it in there. And if you've seen Dell, the way he does it, he takes like a business card and he just pushes it down. And then you get this. And then I took a, a legit box top and just squashed it down just to make sure it was nice and flat making direct contact. So now he's ready to go. Just got to attach some leads onto the ends here, which I believe I might be able to have enough slack to, to actually attack these, attach these directly to the three-way switch and then put the ground where the ground goes and then this one. So, and this also was a technique I saw that CB Giddy did with their Capitones, here's an inside tip too. You don't have to have that. They have the, this part of it. Where's my, where's my little disc at? So you can, you can have a thousand things going on here at one time. You don't have to have this part facing your bridge. You see what I mean? Like say this is the top of your box like this well, there's a million different ways guys do this some guys glue it right just glue this right inside the box some guys there's a bunch of tech 
there is a bunch of techniques you can use to hear. But my point being here is, according to the Capitone, they actually have the disc part right here glued this part this way. So you don't have to glue to the top of your box. So you don't have to have that white part facing your bridge. I was doing that for a long time. I thought it was absolutely necessary to have this white part facing this part. I thought you're getting direct contact to the sound making part, but according to these Capitones, see they have that, they have that glued flat to this. So when you put this into your box and attach it, it's picking up through there. So these little things, these little magnets, little microscopic nanomagnets, it's curious that little microscopic nanomagnets, itsy bitsy little magnets, can broadcast and receive such a big frequency and broadcast such a, what are we talking about here? Nanotechnology, magnets. Look, in this pencil, there's graphite in here graphite in this pencil. Wouldn't that be neat if you could find a way to use graphite and metal and nanoparticulate and magnets? What are we talking about here? All I'm talking about here is the way this transmits vibrations and receives your vibrations through here, which then gets transmitted from you, from your hand, from your mind to your hands, from your heart, your mind, and your soul, to your hands, that's a will, through two little wires that then get attached to a jack, which then gets transmitted through a big receiver. I'm sorry, amplifier that amplifies the sound. Woo, what are we talking about right here, old son? <laughs> or if you choose the right cornbread, this is just this is just hot sauce guitar kitchen, hot sauce guitar kitchen, cigar box guitar wisdom. It's a hot sauce. We like hot sauce. Guitar, because we like the guitar. And uh, the kitchen, because we like cornbread. I wrote a song for cornbread. It goes like this. Cornbread, cornbread, how I love me cornbread. Something like that. My girls will love it when I sing that song. I think it'd be good. Wouldn't it be funny if in, corn, in boxes of cornbread, they had little treats in them? Remember Cracker Jacks? How you'd have like a little treat in the Cracker Jack box or in your favorite cereal? Let's see what Jiffy has in here for us today. Oh man, oh it's got a, a CB Giddy Gen 2 Giddy Bucker Surface Mount Cigar Box Guitar Humbucking Pickup. Thanks Jiffy. Thanks CB Giddy. Get you some baked beans. Put some baked beans in your box. Go and put some cornbread in your box. Go on, put some barbecued chicken in your box. Go on, put you some seasoned greens, seasoned collard greens in your box. Get you a slice of lemon. Put that in your sweet tea. Don't let anybody judge you if you've got sugar in your sweet tea. It's the way it is. And then get this neck. Chicken neck. I'll dry it out. Then we'll put them all together. See what I'm saying? Hot Sauce Guitar Kitchen. Tips for your cigar box guitar building from the kitchen. Did you dig it? Keep oil in your lamp, my friends. And thank you for watching these 
silly videos. Dig homebred, homebred. How I love me corny bread. I like cornbread. I'd make it my wife. If I had some cornbread, yo, I'd eat some corny bread. If I had my chance, I'd eat cornbread for life. Girls, how's that sound? <laughs>